All right, guys, this is Justin, and I'm going to get this webinar started right away. There's a lot of webinars where people spend a lot of time talking about themselves, who they are, what they do. They waste the first 15, 20 minutes and don't get to the actual content. I am not going to do that today. I'm going to make this webinar as short as possible because I want you to be able to take actionable uh actionable action. <laughs> so this is a from the from the hip uh, sort of a webinar. And I'm just going to go right into it. Uh, here's the 30 second bio of me. Uh, again, my name is Justin. I run hundreds of customers, which is a local marketing agency based out of Kansas City. Uh, I specialize in all sorts of digital marketing. I used to do things like SEO and websites. I still do that stuff. But where I found it works incredibly well for my clients. And what I've made pretty much my chief focus has been helping restaurants to attract new clients. And so I want to talk to you really quickly about some of the, the, the biggest ways that restaurants are failing right now. And the number one way is right here. Let me just pull it up on this uh, screen. You can see uh, you guys are familiar with the site. Everybody knows it. And the site is Groupon. Uh, Groupon actually purchased their biggest counterpart, their biggest rival, uh, Living Social, uh, last year. And so now this is this is the thing. And uh, consumers love Groupon because they get a good deal, right? So let's come over here and check out the restaurants. This is in Fontana, California, right? So uh, here's a company running $30, 30% cash back. Uh, your most frequent offers look like this, you know, 50% off here, 50% off here. And the reason that businesses do this sort of stuff is they're hoping to get exposure. They want people to figure out who they are and they're hoping that customers are going to self-convert. Now, here's why this doesn't work. Uh, with Groupon, you're already taking your, your price. So here's, here's Papa John's Pizza. Now, pizza is a very cheap offer. Let's find someone else. Uh, Johnny Rockets, right? This is a real company, right? Uh, I have talked to a number of chefs, a number of restaurants, restaurant owners. And on average, the uh, the margins in a restaurant that is the most efficient it can be are around 60%. Once you factor in not just the cost of the food, which is as far as some people look, but if you factor in the cost of service, the, the cost of the building, the cost of everything it takes to get the food on the table, um, if you are the most efficient restaurant out there, your margins are about 60%. So whatever your regular price is for your meal, uh, generally speaking, you're going to keep about 40 of that. So you, you sell something for 10 bucks, you're going to keep about $4 uh, in, in revenue once all of the other costs are accounted for. And that's if you are super efficient. So what's the problem with Groupon? Well, let's take that $10 meal. Uh, if you sell it on Groupon, you're going to basically cut it in half, right? Uh, so what you normally sell for $10, you're going to sell for five, which means you're already missing that $4 of profit. But then you got to take the half of what's left and give it to Groupon uh, more or less. And I will tell you this, if you negotiate with them and you have a really good deal, sometimes you can get a much better split, but usually they'll start you at 50-50 until you've proven yourself as being uh, very effective, right? Which means for $2.50, you're going to get to fulfill $6 worth of product, which means you're going to lose on average, about $4 per Groupon. There was a CNBC study that basically came out a few years back and it said the average restaurant loses around $1,200 for every Groupon that they run. Uh, and, and other restaurants, other, sorry, other businesses like salons and spas actually lose double that, um, you know, when they're more service based uh, for every Groupon that they run. And the problem, the big problem with Groupons uh, are A, the people that you're attracting tend to be either people who already know that you're there anyway and are just looking for a good deal. So you're losing money on people who would have come visit you anyway. Or B, um, they wind up being, uh, you know, perpetual deal seekers, people who are looking for, uh, you know, the next big thing, the next big deal. And that's, you know, that's a big problem. That obviously is, is not a great way to go business. Um, so here's, here's the issue, right? If you, if you own a restaurant, the, the biggest ways to, uh, you know, the biggest challenges you're going to face are keeping your restaurant busy all the time, keeping it busy during non-peak hours, you know, those slow Tuesday afternoons, a, a slow Thursday evening, whatever it happens to be. Uh, and also increasing customer frequencies to, to improve those sales, you know, get your customers to come back. And of course, breaking through the clutter and the noises out there to get your potential customers to respond to, you know, whatever marketing or promotional messages you have. That's a challenge. If you want to grow your restaurant or any business, you have three options in order to increase revenue. Uh, and those options basically look like this. Uh, you can increase your price, you can increase your customers, or you can get your current customers to come back and buy more often. Most people don't want to increase price because it just Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> uh, most most advertising is, is geared towards getting new customers. Uh, that's what a Groupon model is all about, right? But the problem is that the customers you're getting are the type of customers you don't really want. Uh, or, you know, three, you want to get customers to come back more often. And most restaurants fail at this. You know, the, the, the most aggressive they'll get is something like a loyalty program. So, you know, for every, it, it works well in a coffee shop or an ice cream parlor. For every, you know, 10 coffees, you get a free coffee. For every six ice creams, you get a free ice cream, whatever it happens to be. That's fine because those are little tiny one-off novelty purchases. 
services. But generally speaking, people don't go to meals like that on a, on a regular basis in a way that makes them a regular customer. So you need to find a way to advertise your business that really makes sense. The best methods to grow your restaurant are going to focus on a couple things. You're going to focus on exposure, which is to say reaching new potential customers every single day, people who don't know who you are, people who've never been in. And it's going to work on converting those potential customers into new customers every single day and driving in a steady flow of actual new customers who are profitable the moment they come in the door. Uh, it's going to give you perpetual visibility, which means basically, you know, ongoing every single day, 24, 7, 365, people are getting to know you. Uh, you're in front of people. They're, they're you're right where they are, where they're hanging out. And uh, it's done in a way that's cheaper than probably anything that you've done before, because again, it, it actually pays for itself. In fact, I'm amazed and how many business owners tell me, uh, you know, they look at marketing as an expense. Um, and um, you probably do as well, because at the end of the day, you've probably engaged in a number of marketing campaigns. And the problem is, uh, you know, you spent $500, $5,000, whatever it happens to be, and you didn't get a return on your investment. Marketing should not work that way. Uh, sorry, I've got uh, email notifications coming in. I've got lots of people I'm in the process of talking to. Um, so you may see a couple more of those pop up during this webinar. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, marketing should work like this. You pay a dollar and you get back five. You pay a dollar and you get back 10 and then you scale it, right? The most effective campaigns will produce consistently, you know, 15 to 20% redemption rates for whatever kind of an offer you want. And that's what we see. We see uh, 12 to 15 is our, is our average um, for our, our, our clients who are working with us. And I'll explain that to you in a little bit. Uh, but more than that, whatever method you use should build an affinity with your brand, an affinity with your restaurant and goodwill towards the people who you are marketing to. And that is incredibly hard to do. But if you figure out how to do it, it is amazing. And I'll explain to you how we do that here in just a minute. Uh, and lastly, again, you need to be able to track your ROI. You need to be able to quantify what it is you're spending uh, and make sure that what you're doing is as effective as possible, or at the very least, that you're turning a profit, that you're spending a dollar and you're making back five. You're spending a dollar and you're making back 10. Uh, my average restaurant client that I take on uh, is seeing around 10,000% ROI, uh, if I'm doing my math right, or at least 1,000%. 10 times, yeah, <laughs> a thousand percent uh, or higher. Some of them are a lot higher, but at least a thousand percent. Um, it's not uncommon in a, in a really densely packed area for them to spend, you know, over the course of a year, maybe 20 grand with me. Uh, and for that, reap back 700,000 to a million dollars in additional revenue. So uh, that's what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm going to give you some of the strategy that you can actually implement on your own. But obviously, uh, if you want to implement it with me, I can make this a super simple, no brainer thing. Obviously, at the end of this webinar, I'm going to make an offer to you. Uh, you are welcome to stay for the entire webinar. Uh, if you get something great out of it, awesome. Leave a comment, send me an email, um, justin at hundredsofcustomers.com. You should have that because, of course, uh, somehow you got connected to me to get on this webinar in the first place. But what do I want to talk to you about? I'm going to talk about a VIP club. What the heck is a VIP club? Well, a VIP club is the idea is a, a secret group inside of your restaurant who knows you, likes you, and gets special promotions for being intimately connected with your business. And you want to build up a VIP club. And there's a couple of ways to do that. Obviously, you can put out table tents and things like that. Uh, but the number one way to do it is just to automate the process and get people coming in uh, to celebrate with you in the first place. My favorite way to attract new businesses or new, new customers to a restaurant uh, like yours would be targeting people who are celebrating. Uh, this is people celebrating just in Buena Park. Uh, it's around a 15 mile radius. Uh, this is down you know, south of Los Angeles. Uh, there are 110,000 people just celebrating a birthday in the next week. 110,000 people just celebrating a birthday. Uh, there's another 25,000 people who are going to be celebrating a uh, an anniversary in the next month, right? So that is a lot of people who are looking to celebrate. So why do you want to get in front of these people? Well, as a fact, we Americans eat out. We eat out a lot. We're lazy. We don't like to cook. <laughs> and 70% of us eat out on our birthday, right? 70%. Let that sink in for a minute. Obviously, I'm sure you do it. Seven out of 10 of you watching this webinar, you do that, right? Even if you own a restaurant, you eat out. Maybe not at your own restaurant, but you eat out. The average birthday guest will spend about $78 per table, uh, and that's across the board. There are definitely some restaurants that command a much higher price, and we'll see a much higher return. But even average restaurants, even like a, like a Denny's, will see around $78 per table uh, on average from having people come in and celebrate your birthday. Uh, and that's because the average birthday party is between four and six people. So think about that for a minute. If you knew you could get four people to come in and order drinks and, and, and order appetizers and order desserts and order a meal because these people are celebrating. People who are celebrating aren't stingy as opposed to Groupon folks, right? People who are celebrating are the types of people who come in and they order a, an extra appetizer or two. They order desserts for everyone. They all have a drink, right? You want those people to come in and celebrate with you. And 
if you're going to do that, wouldn't it be worth it to give one of those people a free meal to entice them to bring their friends in and come celebrate? Wouldn't that totally be worth it? You know, as, as restaurateurs, what most of us do is we celebrate, uh, you know, birthdays with a, a piece of cake, <laughs> come in for a piece of cake. And you know, if that's okay, if people already know that you're there, but that's not going to, that's not going to bring people. So you want to, you want to attract these people with what I call a jaw dropping offer, an offer that's such a no brainer and gets in front of them at such a right time that they're like, man, I totally want to take advantage of that. And that's what we are doing. We're identifying customers that are celebrating particularly birthdays, but also anniversaries, and we are sending them into your restaurant. Um, just this right here. So, you know, a lot of businesses, again, you're going to spend a lot of money to get customers one time to get them to come in the door and you can do it over and over and over again. The Groupon market is all about that. Groupon doesn't share its list. So unless you have a way of getting those customers to uh, convert over into some way that you have to continually market to them, it's not going to do a whole lot for you. Uh, it is not going to be a, a very successful marketing um tool. What we do instead is almost the opposite, right? We invest one time to gain a new customer and then we get them to spend, you know, you spend less to, to remarket to that customer. On average, they say uh, it's, it's four to six times less expensive to get someone who already knows you and likes you to come in than it is uh, to attract a new customer. Now, what's funny is again with my system, uh, we actually have a system that, that you literally make money attracting them the first time and then you make money bringing them back again and again and again. And I'll walk you through that here in just a minute. So what do we do? We get in front of people who are celebrating with ads, look something like this. This is one run for a Denny's right now. Um, and it basically says come in for a free birthday meal, claim your coupon here. This thing, this meal, for, it's a Denny's meal. It's a Denny's meal. Denny's is not fancy right? Uh, this thing has 32,000 people that we've reached. It's got 250 likes, 103 shares, and over 500, almost 600 comments of people talking about this ad. And what that ad does is it leads them to a capture page. So we find people who are celebrating, we give them a jaw dropping offer, and then they opt in by giving us their name, their email, and their phone number. And that gives them a coupon. Now the system that we use and any system that you do use should do something like this. It should follow up with them automatically multiple times on their birthday, uh, via text message and via email. Our system is smart enough. We can actually go in and set it up so that, that you actually get a, an email. So let's say my birthday is in five days. I might get a, an email today and a text message today that says, Hey, you know, a little birdie told us your birthday's coming up, coming in uh, for your free meal. Uh, click here, have your waitress click here to redeem the coupon. Right. And they'll get an email as well. We know the email gets about a 22% response rate. Text messaging gets a 98% open rate and read rate. And 92% of that is within the first seven freaking seconds. Think about that. What if you could, you, what if you could reach out to all of your clients and know that in seven seconds, they would all see your message and you could just drive them in whenever you wanted. That's what this system does. Right. But this is just the first half, right? So this is the birthday platform. This is getting people to come in and want to celebrate with you and with your business. And so we encourage them to come in. Our system keeps track of them every year on their birthday. Uh, we get another, another round of these. So five days before the birthday, Hey, little birdie told us, you know, your birthday's coming up. Uh, they'll get on a notice maybe on their birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Don't forget to come in. And then maybe one more, Hey, this, you know, your, your coupon expires, uh, your free meal expires in a few days. Don't forget to come in this week uh, to take advantage of that. So they get multiple times. The system is prompting them to come in and, you know, eat with you, right? Come in and, and celebrate their birthday with you. And it gives them a time frame. And, and, and at the end of the day, uh, I help my clients set this up, but it's totally your promotion. You phrase it however you want. You run it however you want. I, I just am there to help you implement that system. Um, so, I mean, if you want to do a free meal, you want to do a buy one, get one free. You want to do, you know, free appetizer, free dessert with, you know, purchase of a meal and a drink. You can do whatever you want, but the more jaw dropping it is, the faster you're going to build a massive database of customers. And again, that's what this is all about. So first off, we're providing a solution to get new customers coming in, customers who spend on average $78 per table and bring about four to six people with them. And they're coming in and they're celebrating with you. When they celebrate with you, it changes their perception of your business. Do you understand that? When people come in and they view you as the place where they celebrate, it changes how they think about you. You become a special event, a special occasion that they really look forward to. And literally, if we were reminding them year after year on their birthday or on their anniversary to come in for a free meal, you literally become the place that they go. You become their regular stop. There's some people that only eat out once a year and that's on their birthday or twice a year on their birthday and their anniversary. And you become the stop for that, right? You become the place that they go to celebrate with their family, with their friends uh, on their birthday. And that is absolutely powerful. I hope that you guys can see that. And if I were to stop right there, literally I can make most businesses I work with, you know, 10 to $20,000 a month in extra revenue, just doing that alone. But we're building a list of customers and we want to help you communicate with them on an ongoing basis. 
uh, basically to help you increase your revenue. You know, one of the best ways to grow your business is to get your regular customers who come in once a month to come in one more time. If you got half of your customers who are regulars to come in one more time, that could mean, you know, a 25 to a 50% boost in your revenue right there. So how do you do that? Well, you need to have access to your customers. Having access to your customers gives you control. Is it a slow Tuesday afternoon? Is it a slow Thursday evening? You can reach out to your customers with what I call a flash promotion and what some of my clients have basically said. It's like turning my business into a cash machine into an ATM. They'll have a slow night and they'll send out a promotion for free appetizers and drinks with purchase of a, a meal, uh, free free dessert with purchase of a, a meal and a drink or something like that. Buy one, get one free, whatever it is. And literally because text messages are read so quickly uh, and because it's such a drop dropping offer, it brings in people literally within five minutes. They have people come into the door, uh, coming in to, to, to have an evening with them that they wouldn't have done otherwise. And that's how you bring them back again and again and again. I want to give you just some basic numbers and show you what this can look like. So uh, obviously every single business is different. Um, I'm going to give you a hypothetical business that sees maybe 2,500 people in a given month. And I use that mostly just to kind of estimate. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so you guys can see this better. Uh, mostly just to estimate how many people we can get on, an, on a list initially. Uh, in my opinion, 25% uh, of the people who frequent your business most certainly should be able to get on a list like this. Um, and in all honesty, more like 50 to 75%. If they really like you, then getting on a list to get free food from you shouldn't be that hard. So if you had 2,500 people on a, on a regular basis, there's your regular customers coming in or whatever, if you could even get half of them or even a quarter of them, that would be 600 people. Let's say you got half, that'd be 1,250%. So I'm going to talk about what that means here in just a minute. But um, so let's say you're in, uh, where were we just, I was looking at Buena Vista and we had, or Buena Park, 110,000 people. That's pretty high. Let's find a lower one. Jacksonville, Florida, 37,000 people. So if you're in a place as, as big as Jacksonville, Florida, uh, there's 37,000 people having a birthday every single week. Obviously, that's going to fluctuate a little bit, uh, but it is going to go up. It's going to go down. That means if we can just reach 1% of those people and have them come in and have a birthday with you, that could be 370 new customers every single week. If we can only reach half of that, that's half of 1%. It would still be 185 new customers a week. And if we can only reach half of that, one half of one half of 1% of the people you know that you offer a free birthday meal to can come in that would still be 92 people, almost 93 people uh, every single week coming in, uh, celebrating their birthday with you. And again, usually bringing one to two to three to five guests with them, spending on average seven, eight dollars per table. Even if you discount $15 for the meal, $20 for the meal, whatever it happens to be, you're still looking at a $50, $60 ticket on average. Does that make sense? So now let's talk about your average cover. Uh, everybody has a different number. Some of them are as low as, you know, 10 or $15, uh, especially if you're more of a dessert style restaurant or something like that. Or if you do uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of ice cream and stuff. I work with, with yogurt shops and whatnot, but uh, there's a lot of restaurants out there that have a cover that's as high as 40 to $50 per guest. Let's kind of split the difference. I want to go on the low end again, because I, I want to give you guys just an idea of what these numbers look like. So let's say that your average receipt at your restaurant looks something like, let's say 20 bucks. I think that's pretty fair, right? So we put that in here. Now let's just assume that we had uh, 92 people coming in every single week and you were able uh, with all promotions and everything else set aside to get just $20 uh, in, in revenue out of that customer. That would be an extra $1,800 per week uh, or $7,400 per month or $88,000 per year. And that's with a percent of a percent of, of 1% of the people who are celebrating. Do you see the power of this already? Right. Uh, and let's just say it's a little bit higher than that. Right. I mean, literally, you're going to see sometimes where, you know, you're going to have uh, an average ticket when they come in. You know, if it's seventy eight dollars for the for the average uh, business, you're looking at an extra seven thousand dollars per week. Right. Uh, subtract the cost of your meal. Let's make that fifty eight dollars. Let's say you give them twenty dollars in credit or something. That's still an extra five thousand dollars a week an extra $21,000 a month or an extra quarter of a million dollars per year if a percent of a percent of a percent come in. Uh, again, if, if it's half of 1%, you're looking at an extra half a million a year. If we can get 1% of those people to come in, you're looking at an extra million dollars a year in revenue right there. And it doesn't stop because again, when they opt in, they're getting on our system. And when they get on our system, this is what happens. Uh, we get them in here uh, every single week. If we're doing a half of a half of 1%, we're getting you know 92 customers per week uh, uh, coming into your business brand new. Uh, over the course of a month, that's about 370 new customers. Over the course of a year, that's about 4,000 customers on your customer database. So what does that look like to you? Well, again, we see on average a 12% response rate, but I'm going to say we only have a half of that roughly. Let's say 8% 8 of the people respond to any particular text. So if you send out a thousand text messages, that means uh, more or less you're going to see about uh, you know, out of, out of 100 people, out of 1,000 people, you're going to see 80 people come in, 
right? So if you have a, a 0.08 uh, or 8% response rate to your, your text message blacks, that means for every text message that you send out, 8% 8, 8 of those people come in. So if you have 1,200 people on your SMS list, um, you know, I think I botched this here. So let's say this equals, you're going to see, this is how you do Excel uh, things, by the way. So this times this, boom, if that did work, boom. No, it didn't work. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this column doesn't actually, doesn't actually matter. So that equals this times this. Normally, you can just drag it down. No, that is 8%, I guess. Okay, well, never mind. I guess I had it set up correctly in the first place. All right, so that's what happens when you do a webinar on the fly. So I'm just going to fix this again to make sure that it works uh, for everybody. Oops. This equals this times. So I thought I had deleted something and it wasn't working right, but I just wasn't doing my math correctly in my head. There we go. So, you know, if you had a list of 600 people, um, that means if you sent out a blast and 800 or 8% of those people came in, that'd be an extra 50 people coming in that weren't going to come in. You know, if your average, your average receipt for those people is, let's just say 20 bucks again, you're looking at an extra thousand dollars that you weren't going to get that night, right? If your average receipt's more than that, 35, you're looking at an extra 1700, uh, just for having that list. And again, this list is going to grow by around 92 people every single month. If there's 37,000 people a week having a birthday in your area. Right. So that means, you know, at the end of a month, we're going to add 300 to this list. At the end of a year, you're gonna have a list of about three or 4,000 people. You send out a blast to three or 4,000 people and 8% of those people respond. You literally can print off like $12,000 in business uh, to the point that you have to be really, really careful about how you structure these sorts of offers uh, precisely because you can flood your restaurant if you're not care. The problem you're going to start having is you need a bigger restaurant because you literally can just drive in traffic as long as what you're doing is being careful. And this is what I always have to say to people. You need to make a jaw dropping offer, something akin to a Groupon that people would be like, yeah, that's a no brainer. So, you know, a lot of times 25% off is good. 50% off is better. Uh, buy one, get one free is amazing. Free appetizers and free dessert with purchase of a meal and a drink. And of course that drink gets you extra, um, uh, extra margin. It's one of the most profitable things in your business is a soft drink. Right. Um, and so that's, literally how you drive business. In. So I hope that that makes sense to you guys, because that literally is the bulk of this strategy. I want to kind of zoom around through these, uh, these fields really quickly. Uh, so obviously what I offer is a birthday list and that birthday list, it, we build it for you on autopilot. If you want to do that, um, you know, obviously you can show this to your, your regulars. We can put out table tents and QR codes and a point of sale system and web capture forms and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's just reaching out to them, people having a birthday, putting them on the list reaching out to them automatically, and then giving you the reins to go in and actually send out a blast to them whenever you want. Um, and that's it. Like it doesn't get more complicated than that. You just wash, rinse and repeat. You have access to these people on a regular basis. Um, they keep coming in when they come in, they bring in their friends, their friends say, Hey, I want to be on this list too. And so they join the list. And again, you just reach out to these people on autopilot and bring them in to celebrate with you again and again and again, celebrating birthdays, celebrating anniversaries, and then coming in for those flash promotions that you run maybe once per, per week or every other week. And that's it. You do that and you can literally make, you know, an extra $600,000 a year on both of these. Right. And that's not over promising. That really is the type of revenue you can see if you have pretty average numbers. Okay. So the next question is, what does all this cost? I'm a firm believer <laughs> in making sure that uh, the value is there and that my customers get a, a good return on the investment. What you are getting in summary, if you decide to work with me is this perpetual advertising. We are putting your brand in front of new people every single day. That's why people say, I want to be on Groupon because people go there and they see me. But only deal seekers see you on Groupon and they only see you while your deal is live and then you're done. You want to get in front of new people every single day, all of your locations getting ongoing exposure every single freaking day of the week. We're going to drive those people into becoming new customers and they're going to bring them into your locations on a consistent daily basis. And then they're going to become repeat customers. Again, they're going to repeat on, on autopilot because uh, every year on their birthday or anniversary, we're going to remind them to come in and celebrate again. But you now have that umbilical connected. You can reach out to them via text message and via uh, email uh, in the same system. We have one simple system. It is proprietary. It is ours. And it allows you just to go in and, and send 
that uh, send them an offer, like literally on the fly. You can do it. And within 15 minutes, people are lining up at the door. It builds goodwill and it builds a sense of affinity because first off, people are on your VIP club and they're getting something out of it. People love a good deal. They've done study after study that shows uh, people when they get a bargain, they get a, a release of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is, is the uh, pleasure uh, hormone that we, we experience in the brain. It's a pleasure chemical. And people who are shopping on um, on Groupon, they actually experience that at times. But the problem is, of course, again, for the restaurants, that's not a good deal. But if you're offering them a secret uh, special that nobody else gets except for the people in the VIP club, and it's a, it's a Groupon level thing, then every time they see it, even if they don't act on it, they get pleasure, right? I want you to understand that. So you literally start to associate your brand with pleasure. And that makes for an amazing, uh, basically, feedback loop of people loving your brand and coming in more often, celebrating with you, and you're just running profitable promotion after profitable promotion. Lastly, of course, uh, everything should be trackable and should provide you with ROI. Uh, I have a system built so that when people come in to redeem a coupon, A, they actually have to redeem it. They redeem it with their phones, uh, your servers, uh, your point of sale pe people, whoever it is, can actually uh, redeem the coupon there to make sure it gets used once and only once and doesn't get abused. You can even put down the subtotal if you want or just an average for what your average customer is worth. And you can actually see what these campaigns are worth to you. Now, my average, we put that in there because so many people requested it. But after about a month or two, when they just see that the system works, most people forget and don't care because they know that it works. <laughs> They can see the massive return that they're getting uh, from working with me and my company. So the question I have for you at this point is, do you want to move forward? Do you want me to help you implement this strategy? If so, I have three levels of plan. And if you have a question about this, you can email me. Um, I'm going to put my email right here for you. Justin at hundreds customers.com. And I'll make this all fit in one line for you here in just a second. Maybe 48. Boom. So if you have questions about how to implement this uh, for your restaurant, if you think you have some sort of a special situation or a special scenario that, that warrants me, you know, helping you to, to figure things out, that's fine. But here's my plans and they're ridiculously inexpensive. So package one is two ninety seven a month. And that actually just gives you access to our birthday VIP club. Uh, and it auto reminds people to come in for their birthday or their anniversary. And it lets you set up on the fly promotions. Uh, we actually give you 3000 text messages a month you can send out. Uh, and in addition, if you have other text messages, uh, it's like four cents a message. That's the wholesale rate, right? Uh, if you if you look at your cell phone bill, unless you have an unlimited plan, they're charging a 10 cents per text, we charge you the wholesale rate. So uh, literally, you know, we're not trying to make money off of that. We're just trying to cover uh, our costs. And, uh, you know, if you need some sort of a really big bulk purchase or something, we can we can talk about that. But two ninety seven a month, 300 bucks. That's like uh, one week of a part time bus boy. Right. Put that in perspective. Uh, but for most of our clients, what they what they go is the green package here in the middle, which is nine ninety seven a month. We call that the done for you system, uh, the birthday VIP club. But now we're filling it for you on autopilot. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning of this. We get out there. We find the people celebrating. We help you craft an offer. We help you get that offer in front of them. We manage all of that for you. And we reach out to thousands of brand new people in your area every single week who are celebrating. And we get them to come in and celebrate with you on autopilot. nine ninety seven per month. And what could that bring you? In one week, it could bring you two to three to five times that much, right? That's powerful. Okay, I want you guys to understand that. And of course, I offered a couple other packages. Uh, these are our three main packages. Uh, this here is 997 is the done for you plus, and the difference is it's on steroids, right? So if you have a, a really big capacity area, or if you have multiple locations in the same area, uh, like say you have a, a chain of steakhouses and there's four of them in the major metropolitan area, we can run uh, all four of those together on one package uh, and do all the advertising and everything else and basically do it for under 2K per month, right? That's that's less than the cost of of, of, of a mediocre hostess, right? Or, or a, a training chef. <laughs> uh, literally, uh, this pays for itself. It's like hiring an employee that brings in person after person after person and changes the view of your business, changes how people experience your business, changes you into the place where they go to celebrate. And that's it. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of, you know, special sneaky sales tactics. I'm going to try and, and, and sneak in here. There's really no fine print. Um, I'll let you know this, this is month to month, right? Uh, when I work with somebody, they, they work with me on a month to month basis. If you're not seeing a return on your investment, you can cancel at any time, right? I'm not here to, to force you into a six month contract or a 12 month contract or anything like that. Companies like, uh, yellow pages and, and Dex media, they're, they're dying, right? They're the old way of doing business. And the only way they can stay afloat is by keeping people uh, stuck in a contract for for many many months or many many years. In fact, and I'm not here to, to I'm not here to slander. I'm not here to badmouth anyone. But uh, I do know that 
Dex Media three or four years ago, their stock was worth about $22 per share. Uh, it's now worth like under 10 cents a share, I think. Last time I checked, it was like four cents a share. Uh, it's because and they, they fire for bankruptcy and everything else because those forms of advertising are dead. Putting your, your restaurant's menu in uh, in the yellow pages, putting your restaurant's menu, you know, in places like that, it doesn't work anymore. And there's other ways to advertise your business. And, and down the road, obviously, we can talk about other ways to do that, ways to improve your, your ratings, and become a five star business and stuff like that. Um, you know, ways to, to, to leverage other properties out there like, like Facebook and Yelp and, and, and things like that. But at the end of the day, this is a done for you platform. And it does everything for you. And that's really all I have to say. I'm going to encourage most of you guys to consider the green package 997 a month. If you have one restaurant, it's probably all you need. If you think you need more, uh, you can always start at the 997 package and we can go from there. I'm going to put a link to all three of these down below. Uh, you're free to click on them and uh, get whichever one you think makes the most sense for you. Uh, and we can always change you from one plan to another. And obviously, if you have special needs uh, that, that, that warrant something different, maybe you've got, uh, you know, four restaurants, but you've got, uh, you know, one in City A and then City B is like 25 miles away and City C is, you know, 25 miles from that and City D is like 30 miles from that or whatever, you know, contact me, you know, again, Justin, hundreds of customers.com. And, you know, I can find a way uh, to make something work for you, a package that works for you. But even if you just do four of these plans for each restaurant, it's a no brainer. It's going to pay for itself pretty much guaranteed. So that's really all I've got to say. I hope you guys learned something today. I don't know if you knew you could go out and target people that way. I don't know if you had ever thought about getting a, a promotion in front of people that way, but it really is an absolutely powerful, powerful way to, to get your brain out there and get people coming in and celebrating with you. Uh, we're bringing on new restaurants all the time because nobody else is doing what we're doing and doing it in this way. So I want to encourage you guys uh, to come on and uh, you know go ahead and click the button. Uh, join us right now. Uh, when you when you join, uh, you will get uh, instant access to the system. Um, but I will need to find a time to sit down and talk with you in the next couple of days to finalize everything, uh, especially if we're doing ads for you. We'll help you structure the promotions and, and all of that stuff. So uh, I will uh, include a link to uh, once you buy, uh, my system should send out a message on, on how to set up a time to talk with me in the next couple of days and we'll get everything set up. But you know, that's really it. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, obviously you got my email now and, and a way to reach out to me and you probably found me on social media anyway. Uh, so you can reach out to me, uh, that way as well, but that's really it. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for your time. I want to go ahead and end this webinar. Again, I hope it was very helpful and informative. Leave a comment. Let me know if it was, and I will be in touch. Bye guys.